Hey everybody, welcome back to the High Gas V Studio. This week we have been discussing Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. We have been looking at her artwork and it is incredible. It is so introspective, it tells a lot about how she was feeling. As we've learned, people thought that she looked rather exotic. I wonder if it was her unibrow, her little mustache, or maybe the flowers in her hair, the clothes she wore, the jewelry she wore, whatever it was, she was the whole package of exotic. So I thought, I wonder if we can make something that looks a little bit like Frida with a little bit of exotic mixed in. This is what we are going to make today. Now you may not know it, but this is just one of those little terracotta flower pots. But we've painted it, we've decorated it, we've added a few little flowers, and it definitely looks like Frida Kahlo. I want to do one with you, and I thought about asking my buddy Eden to come on set and make one with me. I sure would. You will make one with me? Great. Yes. We've got different ways we can make her, different little looks, and so we'll talk about it over at the art table. Does that sound like a plan? It sounds great. All right, let's go do it. So Eden, here's the little pot that I made before. And what we did is I got a, a terracotta little pot. They're real inexpensive. And I painted her hair and I painted her face. And then I put some googly eyes on. That's kind of fun. And her mouth. And then I decided to put um, some just fake flowers on there like she kind of wore in her hair. So I thought we would paint one of these pots together. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to put her away. And we're going to make our own. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint her face. And I thought we could just share some of these supplies. What we need is a palette, which I just use a paper plate. We've got our two pots. We got a big brush and then a more detailed, smaller brush. A paper towel for when we clean our brushes, because you know, every time you, you paint, you, you change colors. That's right. And then I use mainly black, kind of an ivory color, and red. Those are the main colors that we're going to use. I'll explain these as we go a little bit farther along. And then I've got um, some water here for us to clean our brushes. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint her face. And we're using this ivory color. And we're going to share this palette. I think we can do that. Okay, so let's get this paint out. There we go. And you're going to use your, your fatter brush, your bigger brush. And what we're going to do, watch what I do first and then you follow me. Does that sound like a plan? Yes, so I'm going to get some paint on my brush. And I'm going to start right below the lip, and I'm going to come down, and as I get closer to the bottom, I'm going to swing in like that, okay? And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do the same thing, but swing in, because that's kind of like where her chin is, all right? Mm. And then I fill it in. All right, so now you give it a try. Yeah, there you go. Remember to curve in. Good. Now rotate the pot in your hand. If, yeah, good. Nice. Yeah, and we want to get a good coat. The thing about these pots, they're porous. They have a lot of little holes in them, so they kind of suck your paint up real fast. Did you notice that? It mm -hmm. almost feels like it, you're, they're getting dry really fast. So fill it in and make sure it's got a good, solid coat of paint on it. Great. Oh, yeah, good. Make sure you get right up under that little ledge right there, too, if you can. Turn your brush sideways if you need to. Yeah, and if you go up on top a little bit, it's okay, because we're going to put hair up there, okay? Okay, all right, and just go real nice and slow and easy. It helps you stay in the lines. You need a little more paint on your brush if you need to. Okay, Okay. so now we're going to clean our brush. Just kind of bounce it on that little thing down there. Rub off the excess, I need a little bit more. And then we're gonna dab it on our paper towel. Good. And now we're going to wait for this to dry. So we have the face. So now, mine's dry as yours dry. 
Yeah, okay. So now we're going to put on her lips, okay? So we're gonna do that with red. So let me get some red paint. Get a little space here. Doesn't take much. All right, here's our red paint. Now I want you to watch what I do and then you do it. Does that sound like a good plan? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my skinnier brush in the red just a little bit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is about a third of the way up, I am going to do a V. Good. And now, I'm going to come out and out like that. Try to use the tip of your brush and not the whole brush. Right. And then using just the tip, just the tip of the brush, I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to, using the tip of my brush still, I'm going to fill all that in. Using just the tip. Yeah, you're going to need some more paint on your brush. I may need a little too. Have you got some pretty red lips going there? Mm. Oh, oh, that's really good. Okay, so now let's get, this is all the red that we're going to need. So let's clean our brush. That's, uh oh, I'm gonna fix that little line real easy. Yeah, and go ahead and clean your brush. Good. Dab it on your towel and let's let this dry. Now, Eden, mine's still a little bit wet. Looks like yours is too, but I think we can still keep painting. We just got to make sure our hand doesn't get in that. So we're going to get some black. We won't need much. There we go. Black acrylic paint. And this time, we're just going to bear touch our brush in the paint because we want it on the very very tip of the bristles just barely and we're going to do just a little lines of mustache right there little lines good and then just on the other side just some little tiny lines of mustache yeah because she did have that all right let's clean our brush real quick because we're going to set it down good now we're going to get us some googly eyes. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. You're going to, these are, they stick on, okay? So right above where her mustache is, try not to get your fingers in your paint. Two eyes. Make uh, Come down a little bit more so we have room for that unibrow. There we go. There's one for, another one for you. Try not to touch that wet paint. Let me get me some googly eyes. I love these eyes because they wiggle, they kind of move, you know, they shake, and I love that. Let me get one more. Here we go. Put that googly eye on there. All right, we got that googly eye. Now, with your black brush, I mean your little skinny brush again, okay, we're going to dip the very tip of it in the paint. And we're going to make, and watch what I'm doing, I'm just using the tip of my brush, and I'm going to make an arch over her eye. Good. And then using the very tip of your brush, do an arch over the other eye. So that it looks a little bit like this. Oh, you know, that actually looks like hair. That looks, that looks good, Eden. That's good. All right. So you got the eyebrows. We're good. All right, so we're going to clean this brush. All right, clean that brush. And now, while this part is kind of drying, we're going to paint her hair in. All right, and this one we're going to use the big brush, and I'm going to get us a little more black paint because we're sharing this, and we're going to paint like almost the whole pot, okay? Okay. There we go. All right. 
So now is when I really want to make sure I don't have any paint on my hands. It's wet. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. This is all dry. All right. So with the big brush, watch what I do real quick. Okay. I'm going to come right along the side of her head here. And I'm going to come down like that. Can you do that on the left side or the right side? Either one. Try not to paint your fingers. Good. And now let's do that on the other side too. So I'm going to turn the pot in my hand a little bit so it's easier to hold. And I'm going to come and make hair like that. Now, that's kind of our outline of what we're going to do. So now we're going to paint this top part. Try not to get it on her face. Go real slow. Real slow and if you go slow and steady you should not get it on her face good so I'm gonna start this and then very carefully I'm gonna set my pot down and I'm gonna start painting all around the top and the back good so set your pot down let's put it right here and you can get as much paint as you want, and we're going to start coloring in the bottom and the top part all the way around, okay? Okay, so we finished. Oh, you know what? We need to put a little line in her lips. Let me show you how that looks. Tilt it over, and you go here, and then you drop down, and you go here. Can you do that? Here, let me, let me show it like this. Good, and lay yours flat, and let's see if, show everybody how that looks. Nice. All right, we put the lid back on that. So now we have to decide what we want to put in our pot. For this one, I think this one's just going to be like a paintbrush pot. I'm going to put paintbrushes in this one. Whoops, or pencils, except they are going to fall out of the hole. Or I might even put candy or something like that in that one. But we got to figure out what we're going to put in our pots. Let's think about it for a few minutes. Well, I decided to put a plant in mine. I put a succulent um, because they're real easy to take care of. They don't require a lot of water. What did you decide? I put fresh flowers in mine because I love be beautiful flowers. Well, I think you made a great choice. Look at these great pots. I'm glad that we learned about Frida Kahlo because we got some great decorations out of it, didn't we? Yes, ma'am, we yeah. did. I think this is going to take at least one thumbs up. What do you think? All right.